Hello everyone, my name is Monica, Adult Services Librarian with Sapple. If these two catch your eye, keep on watching because we're about to make some patriotic mason jar lanterns. Let's get ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off by collecting all of our necessary materials, which will be your paintbrush, a tray where you can place your paint and uh, pick it up with your brush, two ball jars or mason jars. These are both uh, 12 pint or 16 ounce jars. You have your painter's tape here, a pencil, and your three different chalk paint colors. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm also including a cup of water uh, just so that we can clean off our brushes when we're ready to switch colors. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay down our base paint color and we're going to be starting off with white. So at this point, go ahead and grab some of your white chalk paint and pour some on your mixing tray there. And go ahead and just saturate these two mason jars with that paint. And I already have a couple readily made so that I could show you. And ta-da! This is what they're supposed to look like. And after you're done, go ahead and set them aside for about five minutes just so that they can dry. And just so y'all know, chalk paint dries rather quickly so five minutes should be way more than enough time to let them set to let the paint set okay we're gonna what we're gonna work on next will be the striped jar so go ahead and cut out two long strips of painters tape and we're going to tape these to the jar and i will show you exactly how or where to position it You'll see here that I started about right in the middle or the lower portion of the jar and I went ahead and I placed the middle of the tape there so that I can go ahead and wrap it around the jar. And all I'm doing is, all I'm doing is softly or carefully wrapping the tape around the jar and if you have an excess you'll just go ahead and cut it off all you needed to do really is to get around the jar make sure you press down firmly around the tape so that you won't have your second layer of paint leaking through and i went ahead and i already cut off the excess there i just pretty much tore it off i didn't even need scissors um, but then the next strip that we're going to lay down, and if you see some of the paint chipping like that, it's totally fine. It's just what chalk paint does. It, it, it can easily uh, be removed, which is really cool if you're trying to get like a rustic effect. Uh, okay, so then the next stripe that we're going to lay down will be kind of closer towards the top of the jar. Okay. So this is what your jar should look like. You should have two pieces of tape running all the way around. Okay, so that being said, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use our paintbrush to apply the red layer of paint. This is what your finished product should look like. So you should have the red paint in three separate areas. And of course, what's under this green tape will be the white paint. But before we tear this off, um, let's go ahead and let it dry, set it off to the side, and we can move on to the second portion of the project, which will be the other white mason jar. And for this, you're going to want to get strips of your short strips of your painter's tape and go ahead and create stars on it or <laughs> draw stars using a pencil and just do as best of a job as you can. Um, and then once you're done, once you're done drawing them, go ahead and cut them out. And once you make a couple of these, just kind of paste them all over, or like stick them all over the mason jar. And make sure you press down hard again, just so that again, 
you don't have any paint seeping through. There you go. And I already went ahead and I put a couple more on the other side. So I'll come back once I finish sticking some more stars onto this mason jar. And I'm back. So this is what the final product should look like with all of your stars stuck on. Next is we're going to get the blue chalk paint and we're going to just paint all over the mason jar. Okay all this is what it's going to look like completely covered in blue paint and you see that I hope you can see that the stars have been painted over and I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a bit before I start peeling off the stars. But meanwhile this dries I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling off the tape on this other jar. So let's go ahead and start peeling. Oh that's awesome. And as you can see, that tape is did its job. Everything's coming off the way it should. Perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and complete taking this uh, complete taking this tape off. All right, and here is the end product. And yeah, the tape did a pretty good job in keeping the blue paint separated from the white. So I'm really happy about that. The last thing for you to do will be to put some small tea lights inside and voila, you have your patriotic mason jar lanterns. Thanks guys. If you have any questions or for more information, please feel free to visit mysapl.org or mysapl.org. You can also give us a call at 210-207-2500.